Thank you. Question. Hamza Amir is saying, why isn't UFC getting good Brazilian fighters anymore? I think is what he's saying. Because it's not a real sport, right? They can give out rankings to anybody they want to. They control ascension to the title. They control who fights for the title. They even can make up new titles if they want to. They already have a foothold in the Brazilian market. They already have monopoly there. They already have, what is it, Combate and whoever else are feeders into the UFC through the fight pass and getting to jump from one promotion to the next if they do a good job. You don't necessarily get the best fighters rising to, rising to the top because some of the times the guys they like aren't the best fighters. They're the guys who are the best company men. They're the guys who listen the most. And they would rather put those guys, move those guys forward, use them as a body, maybe get them beat up. Maybe every once in a while you'll find a star or a standout guy that, that they can make money off of. But until it's treated as a sport or turned into an actual sport where you can ascend and your rank is something you own, and your rank is something you can use to climb up to be able to get title shots, regardless of a promotion you're signed with. But that's what that would be my guess. They'll get the cheap, the cheapest fighters they can get, crank through them, use them as bodies to feed, especially to uh, the guys who are from places they're trying to build a market in. You know, if they really want. To get into a certain market they really want to get into the french market you can bet your butt there's going to be a bunch of french guys that they're cycling through and they're going to try to push in order to see if they can make one stick